Pakistan's desperation at the border continues after BSF posts. Now, park rangers are targeting schools and banks. Two mortar shells were fired at a government school in Arnia. Villagers from border towns who have been forced to flee following the attack on civilian areas have been seeking shelter in government school buildings. Let's get in a word from our correspondent Ashwini Kumar who's with us on the phone line from Jammu. Ashwini, now the Pakistani rangers are targeting uh, shelters where people have been seeking refuge after they've been had to flee their homes. Yes, Simi, uh, Pakistan changed the new strategy. No, uh, mostly they were firing on the nights they... A night ride, but no, they have started during the daytime also. Now, just now, they have fired a uh, few shells uh, in the Arnia town. One hit uh, in the government high school Arnia, second was near JNK Bank. And most of the people, there were some activities of the civil area, but everybody has taken their shelter because the shelling has started again. In the Samba sector also, the Pakistani has started uh, sh uh, firing uh, shells in the town also. So, there is a uh, there is a uh, Terror in the town also. It is uh, uh, around uh, three, four kilometers away from the uh, border area. But no Pakistanis, uh, they know it. This is a uh, Arnia town, and uh, the the range of the shell has increased, and they are firing on the civilian areas also. And how many people have been injured? But nobody knows because they, everybody has taken a shelter inside their houses or the bunkers area. So uh, uh, BSF uh, no, has started retaliating with a heavy fire on the Pakistani rangers. Yes, me. Right, Ashwini Kumar are reporting on how Pakistan is now uh, attacking civilian areas and shelters where uh, Indian villagers have been seeking refuge. Ashwini, what's the kind of uh, fire that's being reported uh, from this area? Yes, uh, Simi, Pakistani rangers are firing 82 mm mortars uh, because of uh, uh, this uh, range of the shell is too uh, high and uh, it seems it is a 82 mm mortar because uh, 52 mm mortar has a less range around two kilometers the way they are firing and sh lobbing the shells inside the town it is too uh, uh, too early to say that uh, they may use the uh, the heavy shells uh, to target the civil area uh, as they know it uh, because uh, it is a uh, timing of the sh uh, shops to be open and the moment of the people are going to colleges schools or uh, to the offices no banks are going to be they they, they, they targeted the civilian area because uh, they want most um, maximum casualty should be there uh, since uh, uh, one of the uh, target was the school but uh, there was no school was already closed down by the state administration but there was no camp uh, migrant camp in the school also so nobody knows how many injuries are there uh, no uh, because after uh, uh, seeing some time they can uh, see the casualty or the injury inside the school area or the town area. Yeah. Most of the villagers from the Pargawal area, they have migrated from the border area to the safer place, Pargawal High Secondary School. But they have only one fear. If Pakistan will change the uh, action of the gun, they will be targeted here. Ashwini Kumar for headlines today in Akhnur. We are at the last village in Arnia. The village wears a desolate look. There is nobody, absolutely nobody here. The, uh, the people have been forced to flee. Now, uh, here we see a trench uh, which is used by the BSF as a firing position for Pakistan. And as soon as they've uh, fired uh, a couple of rounds, they rush to the bunker, which we can see on our right. Though it looks quite basic, it is enough to save lives of many. We are told that uh, in the villages there are such bunkers where people can come in the face of shelling. But they do not have as much time that they can come to these bunkers and save their lives. We are told that the first five people who lost their lives, four of them were trying to reach a bunker when shell hit them. Pakistan has shown by its action that it cannot be trusted again. Continuous ceasefire violations and opening new fronts, it only means that Pakistan is becoming more aggressive and raising the Kashmir rant once again. But BSF and the army are giving a befitting response at both the borders and line of control. With camera person Ravi Khan, this is Kamali Sandhu, in Jammu, for headlines today. This season of the year is being considered as most favorable season for the infiltration of militants on line of control. I am here on the line of control in one of the maize fields in one of the villages just 
in parallel to the line of control. It is very easy for militants or infiltrators to hide in these high maize crops and easily they could not be located or identified. The security agencies believe that the ongoing tension on the line of control is basically a kind of shadow and facilitation for infiltration. That is why not only the line of control, the army and the security forces have enhanced security grid in the other areas near line of control so that these infiltration bits could be filed. With camera Ruf Ahmed Ashraf Wani for Helens today.